Welcome back guys and girls and whoever's watching today. We're continuing on on our build. I've now put all the wiring in. I soldered them all yesterday. I ran out of time here so I had a couple of people drop in. So I've got up to 15 on these. So it goes from B negative to 15, which is connected to your um, most positive negative connection and your number 16 so that's all good ready to go so they'll go in here now I've used this little groovy little tool and these these are a um, a T15 from Tai Taiwan T15 from Taiwan so I set it to it goes from trace. I set it to uh, plus five, plus um, four newton meters. So four newton meters, and I've locked up using this, and it goes beep when it finishes. I've locked up all my battery threads to four newton meters because I'm going to use four newton meters for the actual um, screws that I've got to tighten down. So that is what I've done so far. So I'll fit that up and I'll start putting the buzz bars on. I'm thinking maybe I should run my cables first, but uh, it doesn't matter. This is off, so it doesn't really matter. So um, yeah, I'll play with it and get back to you. Now, when I was testing it all, I was using my multimeter on that and I would just put them in the center of these little bars and go to wherever the end of end of the wire is and that will give me my continuity and each one I'd gone along and done it so I didn't expect to do a slow mo on that I think everyone would have been bored I would have been bored so letting you know now I don't want to bore you on this channel I just want to have some fun chat to people um, and show you my experience on putting on putting together well putting together my server racked battery connection and would i dare say should i put a tardis light on top maybe i should put a tardis light on on top like it's like a time machine to me and yeah all good we keep working on it and i'll get back to you pretty soon i also numbered each wire if i hadn't already mentioned that I've numbered it for number, that's number 12. So I've, I've numbered them all so that we can get them all to the right spots at the right time. Uh, and later on, if I want to take them off, I know the numbering. So working on these, I've gotten to so far up, I've undone these, locked up the end one and attached my negative, but I've unplugged these before I've gone ahead and done that, even though I know that they're all connected right. Uh, I know they're connected right, only thing is I might put them on the wrong one of these bars and I don't want that to happen, do I? So, when you're doing it, and I don't know whether you can see this, um, you'll get a reading and I think I've just... So you get trace and then you set what you want, the parameter. I've set it for four newton metres. So that's four newton meters this one is already four newton meters this one here shouldn't be four newton meters if i can pop you down there hopefully you can see that um, so, so i'm going to go around here and come back yeah, about two it starts reading three so I'm at 3.9 and it's hard to see with the dark here. I'm not going to go overboard, but I'm just setting to about four Newton meters. I'll check them later. Okay. So the reading is very hard to see. You normally just see the light when it comes on at about three. I should have set it in a way that So if I can get some light in here, it'd be good. 
I'll see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to try and bring some light in and get back to you. Okay, so I've gotten the light in here, just for your amusement, not mine. And I've got to go back through all these, but I've got to turn it on too. So the middle button turns it on, goes on to trace. You can see that at all? Don't know. I think that uh, the, this is in the way a little bit, but as good as I can get it. And I'll bring you a little bit to the right here. I'm sorry about the shakiness. And you can see that right there, I'm right on four and it changes noise. So we're coming in. See, you got that noise. That's over. So it doesn't actually stop um, the torque unit doesn't stop it from over tightening in fact the only way it'll stop is if you stop so that noise that secondary noise I'm going off that there Okay guys, I've got it all hooked up now. Hey guys, still working on it. Got me voltmeter here. Just checking voltages. I did go through them already, but from here to here, I've got 52.6 volts. Sitting across there. Behind that, I've got 49, 46, about three volts of difference. And so yeah, so on. There's 46 there, and that there is 42.8, so that's about 3 volts. That's about 3 volts. So we're coming down in 3 volt stages. So I should be able to check that from the back of these cables, just to make sure. Um, trying to get in here with a small cable thing is going to be like murder but first one am I going to get to it probably not I might be able to make this a lot easier for myself by putting our connector back in and checking that from there and that from there without touching each other There's three volts there. Six volts. So I can get a get it here and just hop it on here on the front the connector because on the front of the connector you've got like these little leftover bits of the pin so you should be able to get a voltage off that saying that as long as I don't short anything I'll be right 9 volts 13 volts 16 volts they're all looking pretty good
19 volts. Almost 19, nearly 20 volts, so there's 23 volts next to it. And the one next to that, 26 volts. So we're looking for about a 3 volt increase each time. All good. Twenty nine point six, thirty two, thirty six. I'm pretty happy with that. So, get the last couple. Thirty nine, forty two, forty six, so forty six volts. So that's that one. Our last one is this one here. So we still have to go off B neg, which is our black lead. We need to hook into there. Check our last couple of connectors. Forty nine one fifty two. So fifty two there, you should be able to get the same amount back here. So fifty two, fifty two. There you go. They're all good. Might cut these wires off, leave them on for a little bit longer. Actually I might cut the ends off them. There's no requirement to have them. Uh, I'll take them off in a minute. Anyway, all right, that's going to be all. I've still got to do the cable management, make it look all nice and pretty, as you do in cable management. I'll pop this one in first, because this has got the most voltage. Makes the most sense. Okay, let's see if we can pop the power on. See if it turns on. Oh, 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 oh! She turned on. Here we go. There you go, you got your 32 volts. So I can turn that off now. But that's our, our voltage. I don't know whether you can see that. I have to set it up, of course. Beautiful piece. Oh, just to let everyone know, at this time they're offering a discount. So and this has got nothing to do with me. I saw it and there was $100 off, so. I was pretty pretty happy with that. Look, it's touch touch screen. It's all set up. You got your voltages there. It's trying to balance that all out at the moment. So we've got our balancing act happening, and that's working off the capacitor inside the BMS. We've got the alarms. Is it got any alarms? It's got uh, count is equal, not equal to setting. So I need to do the settings and. I'll probably need the app for that. This one doesn't really have that. Um, temperature at the moment is 13 degrees in here. So I'll need to put uh, my two temperature sensors in here for the moment. Uh, there's one and there's the other. We might do the beer test later on to see how that's all going um, as other people use their on different channels, the beer test I think is a go. Uh, I'll pop that under there. Later I'm going to stick them down. So 17 degrees coming across the MOSFETs. Oh, you can't even feel that. It's so cold in here. Um, pretty happy with that. Uh, that's it for a wrap for the day. We'll go on to some testing. We still have to plug in the other end of the battery. Um, the circuit breaker's off at the moment, but uh, just to let you know, I have one battery, well, it's, it's blue, and they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. 
Uh, happy, happy, happy. Very happy. I might even make up a connector for it and uh, just bring it back over here. So I can just turn that off, I believe. I'm hoping I can. There you go, turn the screen off. Turn the BMS off. So just hold it for a couple of seconds and it's all good. So that's it. We have, I've got to do some cable management, run all these through a cable management system, get rid of these cables here, which I don't really need or want, but I can use these cables again for another job and I'll be happy. But I'm very happy with this at the moment. So what do you guys all think? Do you think I'm doing all right? Or leave me a comment if you guys are gonna go with a JK BMS with a display. Oh mate, they're the go. They've gotta be the go.